Okay, in this video, we're going to prove that the sum of even functions is also an even function. Let's go ahead and go through the proof very carefully. So proof. So we'll start the proof by assuming that we have two functions that are even. So suppose that we have two functions and let's call them uh, f and g. f and g are what's called even functions. So the natural next step is to write down um, what it means for a function to be even. So let's go ahead and do that next. I was actually going to tell you at the beginning of the video, but I thought, you know, let me just wait because I can show you right now. So the next natural step, right, this is the hypothesis, is to actually write, write down what it means. So this means, in fact, it's even better to write down this means. It lets the reader know um, what's going on. That, well, f is even means that whenever you plug in minus x into the function, you just get f of x. And this is for all x. For all x in the domain of the function. It's not specified here, so we'll just say for all x. And the same thing for g. g of minus x is equal to g of x for all x. This is the definition of even. Graphically, these functions are symmetric about the y-axis. If you were to let you know, y equal to f of x, uh, it, would be, it would create symmetry. So it would look something like this. This is an even function. Something like this would be even. You can flip it across the y-axis and you get the same thing. Okay, now we have to show that the sum is even. So recall that the sum of two functions, I'll write it up here outside of the proof, is defined as follows. If you have two functions f and g, we get a new function. It's called the sum of f and g. It's denoted by f plus g. And it's defined as follows. It takes the value of x as an input. And as an output, you get the values of f of x plus g of x. This is the definition of the sum of two functions. So now we have to show that this is even. So we have to replace this x with negative x. So then we have f plus g of minus x. And using the definition of the sum of two functions, this is f of negative x plus g of negative x. And here's the beautiful part. This first piece here is equal to f of x, and that's because we know f is even, right? That's from this equation here. And this one is equal to g of x, and that's because g is even. So this is because f and g are even. But this is the definition of f plus g of x. And this holds for all x. So we have that f plus g of negative x is equal to f plus g of x. And this is true for all x. This is precisely what it means. Precisely what it means. For f plus g to be an even function. So for f plus g to be even. And that, my friends, completes the proof. So we started with two functions, f and g, that were even. We wrote down what it meant for the functions to be even. The natural thing to do next is to look at the sum of those functions. And we use the definition of the sum. And then we use the fact that the functions are even. It's true for all x. Therefore, f plus g is an even function. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is trying to learn some mathematics. Good luck.